if you have to process thousand mortgages, typically what you are going to do is we are you are going to use the loop for each row action and you are going to process the mortgages on a single bot runner. But I am going to tell you in this video as to how to automatically distribute all those mortgage applications to a group of devices. So as not only to make the processing faster, but also optimally kind of make use of the devices. And in this video, you are going to see as to how to create queues for WLM, which is workload management. So we are going to start right away by logging into A2019. And as a person having queue creation rights, what you see is the workload tab. In that there is queues. So you say create queue, and then you can give a name to the queue. So we are going to say mortgage as the mortgage queue as the queue name. We are going to give description. This is mortgage processing queue. We are going to give reactivation threshold. So what exactly is reactivation threshold? Reactivation threshold is the minimum number of work items that are required so as to automatically trigger the queue. So we are going to say 10. So as soon as you have 10 work items, 10 mortgage applications, at least 10 mortgage ap applications, then the queue is going to automatically trigger. We are going to add the time it takes for a person to compute one work item. So one process mortgage process application, it says it takes five minutes for a person to process one mortgage application. We are going to say next, we are going to add the queue owners. Who are the queue owners? So queue owners are the people who have got absolute rights on the queue. They can add more uh, queue owners. They can add more participants and consumers. We'll see as to what participants and consumers are in the, in the, uh, in the video. Uh, they can add work items as well. So they can add more mortgage applications into the queue. So say they even underscore board creator is the queue owner. I'm going to click next. Who are the queue participants? So queue participants are the people who can add more work items. So, so they can add more of such CSV files to the queue. So say the WLM role, all the people in the WLM role are the queue participants. We are going to click next. Who are the queue consumers? So queue consumers are the personas who can consume the queue. So they can actually process the mortgage, mortgage applications. I'm going to say all the people again in the WLM role, they can consume the queue as well. So again, uh, we go by the principle of least privilege. Uh, all the actions or all the features in enterprise product, they are available via permissions. They are available by roles, which is called as role-based access control. I'm going to say next and here, is where we are going to create the queue structure, the queue template. So I'm going to say browse and I'm going to point to the mortgage CSV file. I'm going to click next here. We are going to create a template. Now template creation is a one-time job. As soon as you create a template, if you got similar queues, you can point to the same template and all the template structure is available for you to creation. So we are going to say mortgage template queue and we are going to choose as to how the template looks like, how the queue looks like on the control room. So say we display the first name, display the last name, email address may be secure. So we don't want to display the email address, display the address, you don't display the phone number and then you can display the amount requested. Again, you can choose to set the data type. So first name, last name is a text, address is a text, amount requested is a number. Again, last but not the least, how do you process the queues? So here we want to process all the high value customers. So you say that sort by amount requested, I'm going to say plus, sort by descending. So all the customers who have requested the highest amount, they get processed first. And I'm going to click next. And here we are going to add the work item. So I'm going to say browse and I'm going to point to the same CSV file again. 
and I'm going to say create queue. That's it. Your queue has been created. So this is the mortgage queue for you. And the work items will show up here in a few moments. But this is the first step for WLM, which is the queue creation. And now you're all set to distribute the queue across the group of devices. Thanks for watching this video.